Ella, welcome for, thank you very much for joining us. Hope you're out there. Um, let's talk about the political implications a little bit here. Um, what, are your, what are your thoughts on, on that and, and what this could do to the presidency? Well, I thought the first couple weeks the president uh, responded uh, pretty well on this, but it's gotten away from him. Uh, and uh, he is in some trouble now. There is a lot of sniping within his own party. Uh, someone like James Carville, a very prominent Democratic consultant, has gone public and talked about how poorly they've handled it. There's increasing criticism from uh, people down in Louisiana. And some of it has to do with the messages he's conveyed. Not a whole lot of people who have policy alternatives, other and they should have moved faster to fire some people. Some more heads should have rolled. But a lot of it have to, has to do with the fact that he has not conveyed this great sense of urgency and cataclysm. Now, you mentioned head rolls. Uh, Elizabeth Birnbaum, the head of the Minerals Management Service, as you know, resigned today. Uh, is that going to, to be enough in terms of uh, restructuring? And I know the, the department, this section of the Department of the Interior itself, is also being restructured to avoid conflicts of interest and the like. I doubt it's sufficient. I doubt that uh, that, that the critics are going to be satisfied with with just one person resigning. I think there's an issue of how Ken Salazar, the secretary um, uh, of the Interior, uh, has handled this. I'm not suggesting that he's going to have to resign or be fired, but I think there's a lot of questions as to what happened the last three or four weeks. Again, it's not so much policy. There's no question the federal government can't take over uh, uh, the uh, the mission that BP's engaged in down there, but they, they've been entirely too trusted. A lot of people think uh, of BP. They haven't asked enough questions. They haven't looked internally uh, enough. One quick final question, Al. Is it possible that, you know, hindsight, we just didn't know the magnitude of this, how bad it would get, that it's really just the, the spill, the disaster has snowballed? I mean, is that a fair argument for the administration? Well, it's certainly a fair argument about the facts. There's five times as much spillage we now know as we thought there was just a few weeks ago. But the question is, did they bring enough pressure on the company, and, and did they uh, trust uh, Admiral Allen too much to, uh, to work with BP on this?